So today we have uh, Mr. Lin to talk to you. Okay? Yes. Thank you very much. I want to welcome everyone. Even though this is organized by the Indonesian government, but you know we have a Malaysian outlook, and as far as you are concerned, it doesn't matter whether you are not from Indonesia, as long as you have the Indonesian spirit. And what is the Indonesian spirit? The Indonesian spirit. The next period is where you depend on yourself to succeed. That there's no substitute for hard work. There's no substitute for being honest. Because only when you make an honest living, a clean living, then can you hold your head up high with dignity and honor. I think this is what we meant to talk about when we talk about the Penang spirit. And most important of all, the Penang spirit is one who appreciate fine things, especially good food. <laughs> is it working like that? <laughs> is it working? Huh? Yeah. Okay, you can hear me from behind. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, okay, no problem. <laughs> So I'm here in uh, uh, San Francisco at San Jose as part of my uh, to be an annual tour of all the investors. because I've got a whole series of dramas when I go back home. So if I shout too loud and my voice breaks, uh, I'm in big trouble when I go back. So I hope you understand, uh, you want to overstrain my voice. Uh, and I was saying that this is part of my annual trip, annual tour, to all the investors, to all the companies who make Penang one of the top locations of choice for investment. And last year we had a very good investment number uh, compared to 2013. Our investment numbers jumped by more than 100%. 3.9 million to 8.2 million. Especially from the PE sector as well as the bioscience and medical devices company. So we have to go and pay our respects. Now. Pay for me. Uh, Chinese to say, Xiao Wun Pai Xin. So, Xiao Hu Pai Xin. So, it's more to pay our respects to thank them for coming to Penang, as well as to forge a closer relationship with this company. At the same time, I spent some time in San Francisco because I want to visit some of the internet startups because we want to do our first accelerator program in Penang. And the 1st of October, we will be opening Penang's first accelerator program called Accelerator CAT. CAT stands for... Stands for what? You are not nice. Cat. CAT stands for what? I thought you all know that. Competency, accountability and transparency. Oh, that accelerator how we talk about competency, accountability, and transparency. It's about creativity, analytics, and technology. Oh. Accelerator with analytics, uh, with, uh, creativity, analytics, and technology. This will be the first of Penang. Uh, we are, I know we are not going to be like San Francisco, rep replicate their success, but we want to build an ecosystem. Uh, we believe that Penang needs multiple ecosystems for us to create synergy and I think we have all the necessary conditions to establish Penang as a center of excellence for science and technology. We are doing a lot of effort uh, towards uh, building human talent, towards creating the necessary conditions and most important of all we want help from our friends 
and we got some companies in San Francisco as well as in Hong Kong who have been involved in acceleration program for many years who are willing to come to Penang to help us. And these are American companies, not Malaysians in American companies, but Americans in American companies. And they are willing to help Penang because they see the Penang promise. So we hope that you can also help us in the opportunity. We want to set up this acceleration program because we want to get involved in IoT, Internet of Things or Internet of Everything. We want to hook on to cloud computing. We want to be able to use or to apply PDA, Big Data Analytics, future technology for the future. And that is the Penang promise because we always think about tomorrow, not just yesterday. And that is why we hope that we can make it. Of course, as I said, just now we will not be able to replicate the success in San Francisco. But if we can leverage on our competitive advantages in manufacturing, in services, and with this small ecosystem we are building, I think we can harness the energy of the people of Penang to create new synergies. And I think new synergies is now the crucial element in increasing value and productivity in the market nowadays. So this is what I'm doing here. Uh, I know some of you are asking why am I here when things, a lot of things are happening at home. <laughs> I should be at home minding the store. But let me tell you that as far as Penang State Government is concerned, matters of governance always takes precedence. And I think we have done the necessary uh, management as far as political matters are concerned that we are confident enough to leave for America knowing that we will still have a state government in Vietnam to come back to. Don't worry! <laughs> Don't worry! When we get back, the Vietnam state government will still be as strong and stable and I'll still be the chief minister. <laughs> Because the United States government is built not on personalities, but built on policies, built on institutions. That is the foundation. It doesn't matter whether I eat the name or not. What matters is the institutions that we established over the last several years continues. Institutions of, of good governance, free leadership, and most important of all, performance oriented because we serve the people. We want to show that in Malaysia, you can have a clean government and a clean government can outperform a corrupt and dirty government anytime. <laughs> we have budget surpluses every year. We have increased our assets by more than 50%. And most important of all, we have reduced our debt not by 10%, not by 30%, but by 90%. We still owe the, our debtors 50 million. Uh. I can settle it today or tomorrow because our reserves are 1.2 billion. More than enough money. The whole SS of Kinang is around 8 billion ringgit. We have tripled that number since we took over. But I'm not going to settle the 8, 50 million ringgit there. You may ask why, why not? Better not. Why better not? How to ask money from the federal government if you don't have that? <laughs> <laughs> you got no debt, they say what for you money, you got a lot of money, right? <laughs> <laughs> you have done that there. Right? Still, we owe you some money, so you can give some money. Right? <laughs> and I'm saying this because Penang contributes so much to federal coffers. You know, in Malaysia, as Malaysians, we have no right of taxation. All taxable income, whether personal or corporate, goes 100% to the federal government. And even though we are the second smallest state in the country, we are the third highest paying state. We keep, we punch well above our weight. We pay 6.3 million million every year. And you know how much we get back, I don't want to talk about <laughs> So that's why it is important 
for us to remind everyone that we are Malaysian in every sense of the word. We play our part and we contribute much more than is expected of us. So we then contribute 25% of Malaysia's imports and exports. We pay the third highest tax in the country. And of course, without Penang, I think manufacturing, especially the E&E, &E, there will be no uh, Silicon Valley, so to say, in South Asia. In many respects, I think we are becoming to be the next, or perhaps already becoming the Silicon Valley in South Asia. For the first time in history, Semicron was held in Penang. I think you know why Semicron here, isn't it? You all know how important Semicron is. Semi Corn is like World Economic Forum in Davos for the economy. For the economies. Economies, their number one forum is World Economic Forum in where? Davos. Switzerland. Semi Simon Corn is the same level for the semiconductor industry. And for the first time in history, they held it in Penang. Not in Singapore. They held it for the last 20 over years in Singapore. They moved to Penang. Uh, and we're happy that next year they like the next so much, they're going to stay back and they are going to do it again in Penang. So, of course, Singapore is not very happy. La. <laughs> but when they took away our, our Hainan chicken rice, we're also not happy. <laughs> so, never mind, we win a little bit here and there. La. But what I want to say is this, that Penang is very different from the Penang you know eight years ago. And why is Penang different? As I said, the Penang promise. Our focus on tomorrow. And most important of all, our faith, our undying faith in the ability of the people of Penang to find solutions for our problems. We have many problems. But as long as we have the support from people of Penang, we believe that they will find a solution for us. And that's why we believe that we must uphold one fundamental right. And what is that fundamental right? Freedom. Freedom exists in Penang. Not because I shout the word freedom, but it exists in Penang because we give our people the freedom to express themselves. The freedom to be the best they want to be. The freedom to realize their potential. And most important of all, the freedom to live with honour and dignity as first-class Malaysians. That is what we offer to the people of Penang. And you can see the results. You can see the results over the last seven years. Has Penang become better or not? Yes. 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 Who has not visited Penang? Put up your hand. <laughs> You all got to go back and see Penang. <laughs> but for those who have been to Penang, would you say that Penang has transformed into a better place to live? Yes. 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 <laughs> I know you agree, la, but yes. is Penang clean up? Yes. Don't just humor me. La. Don't just oblige me. Clean means clean, dirty means dirty. Is Penang cleaner or not? Yes! No, Penang was one time so dirty that the former Prime Minister Tun Mahate called Penang the rubbish state. Pulau Pinang Daru Sampa. You remember or not? Remember? No hope for Penang to be clean. It's the dirty state, dirtiest state in Malaysia. When we first took over, we said, can we change that? People tell us cannot. I say, never mind, let us try. Let us ask the same civil servants who caused Penang to be dirty, ask them to work hard to see whether they can transform Penang. And they succeeded. We use the same people. The only thing different is that we tell them, you work hard. You work hard, everyone who works hard will get extra 200 ringgit every month. The best workers will get Pingat, PJK. Last time PJK, you know who get one. Huh? Those who, you know, know how to Huh? Praise all the leaders they will get. Huh? Now this one, we say we have eyes with which we can see and if you clean up Penang sufficiently as a good worker and a modern worker, we will give you the Penang. And like hell they work. <laughs> the same batch of workers who cause Penang to be dirty 
they have now transformed Penang to be one of the cleanest, if not the cleanest city in Malaysia. Same batch of workers. Of course, we also like to think. Last time, Penang dirty because the last time the government dirty. <laughs> Now we then clean because this government is clean. <laughs> Correct or not? Yes. And when I say this, I say this with confidence because Penang is the only state government to be praised by Transparency International. No other government in Malaysia has been praised by Transparency International. We are clean. That's why I always like to say, Po Chak Lui to the Po Chak Lui. And we want to let other states know that if you run a clean government, you can always do better. And when you talk about being clean, it's again relying on institutions. And we have to declare our assets publicly. Not just chief ministers and ESCO members, but also copyrights. You want to know how much I own? You go to the internet. <laughs> uh, you know how many cars, la, how much land. La. I trick myself financially naked. <laughs> financially, yeah, please. There yeah, are other people who like to trick in other ways. That's not my, my style. I only trick myself financially naked. And then we ban members or the family of leaders from doing business with government. My family members cannot do business with government. My ESCO me members, their family members cannot do business with government. Number three, we do not allow leaders of the administration to apply for government land. You want to apply for government land, you must be an ordinary citizen. Resign. Be an ordinary citizen. Then only can you apply for government land. And fourthly, of course, we have the whistleblower act who exposes corruption, we will reward them and protect them. And finally, we have open competitive system. Open competitive tender system. So you can bid for government contracts. Now in Penang, it doesn't matter what race you come from. As long as you give the best bid, you can do government projects. Malay, Chinese, Indian, all welcome. Just give us the best bid and of course, the best quality performance. That is all that we ask. So these are institutions that we rely on towards establishing integrity in government, not based on fine speeches. Fine speeches no use if you cannot deliver results. We deliver results. So just a very short roundup of what we have done over the last seven years. I think we have performed our performance has shown that over the last seven years, we have brought changes that have never been seen before. But again, we should not put our hope too much. Whilst we are optimistic, don't forget that 20 years of this decline is not easy to catch up in a short span of seven years. Because other countries or other cities have also made very, very strong and rapid progress. In the past, no one thinks about Korea, but now Korea is right up at the top. So for Penang, we are not competing against Singapore. We cannot compete against Singapore. We are trying to hold our own and get ahead of other secondary cities like Bali, like Phuket, like Vietnam. These are the countries we must make sure that we do not be left behind. Don't look down on the Vietnamese and the Thais because PISA rankings have shown they are 15 year old, are better in science and maths than Malaysian students. We don't laugh at the Vietnamese and Thai workers when we see them in Malaysia. They are science and maths better than <laughs> Thanks to our federal government's education system. They can do so much with such limited resources. Just imagine how great Malaysia can be if we apply the same model and standard. Do not give up. We know that Barisan National has succeeded in breaking up Pakatan Rakyat. But the people will not be swayed by such dirty tactics. After all, they have bigger problems than us. <laughs> Thanks to Dr. Mahate. <laughs> Whatever his motives, lah. 
I think we all know la, what his motives are. But the point is, he says what we have been saying. He questions the same questions we have asked, especially about about what? One you know what is one NDB, you know? <laughs> what is one NDB? What's one NDB? ATM. Huh? ATM. ATM. <laughs> money, money. Give it. What does NDB stand for? What does one NDB stand for? Huh? One Malaysia developer, huh? No wrong. Satu Malaysia dalam bahaya. <laughs> now, why I say Satu Malaysia dalam bahaya? Look at our stock market. Last year we had 6% economic growth. But our stock market went down by 5.7%. Thai even stock market, despite economic growth of only 1%, their stock market went up by 15.7%. What is the reason? You have 6% economic growth, but your stock market drops. Other countries have miserly economic growth, but their stock market go up. What is the reason? The reason is, again, one hand. Look at our ringgit. Say, sorry, I come here 380. <laughs> <laughs> no lah, of course the bank only, but you go to the money changer, you see? <laughs> they don't want to change for you. <laughs> Luckily, you know the money changer, they change for us. Though. 380 oh. And then only because if you need to change with us. Wow, I, I thought also I sweat. <laughs> but it's not only the it's not only the US dollar. Look at the Singapore dollar. 220 to 280 now. Nah, 220, oh you don't know what? Ah, 280. Ah. <laughs> Malaysia boleh lah. <laughs> 220 to 280. How to go to Singapore nowadays? Okay lah. Don't go to Singapore. Go to Thailand lah. <laughs> ah, you know how much Thailand is now? Last time 950 oh. 95 baht oh. Now how much? Now how much? How much? How much? Oh. No idea. No idea. Anybody knows or not? They don't dare to declare. <laughs> How come nobody go to Thailand much? <laughs> okay la, okay la. I know you all don't go to Thailand la. <laughs> Now around 85 to 87. 95 to 85, 87. You cannot go anywhere else in the world. Your ringing has become smaller and smaller. Now why again? Despite the 6% economic growth, why is this happening? Again. 1 MDB. Now this is bringing down the country, this is bringing down the economy and all the Prime Minister is doing is suing Tony Pua, suing opposition leaders for exposing 1 MDB. And when I was here, I read about another scandal. Mara scandal. Go and view student hostels, mark up the price. Somebody earns 4.5 million Aussie dollars. How much is 4.5 million Aussie dollars? Now we have exchange rate 3, 0, 3 by what? Maybe around 13, 14, 15 million. That is the scandal. Mara, what people to know Mara? And what is the explanation? Oh, give me one week to investigate. This is internet. Era, you can just click a button, you can have all the answers. They say, give us one more week. Hopefully, it's not one more week to cover up the scandal. So this is the unfortunate series of events that's pulling our economy down. And we feel that the people are fed up. The people are fed up of Khaisa National. The people are fed up that they have to suffer because of their failures. They are unable to balance the book. You know, unlike Pinay, they have deficit every year. I speak enough with it. Because you all ask questions, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. So, I'll just stop here. Hope that despite the big picture of extensive corruption in Malaysia, do not lose hope. There are still beacons of hope like Pinay. A success story like Pinay. Don't believe me, come and see for yourself in Pinay. Okay or not? Yes. You all believe me or not? Yes. <laughs> then I can tell you come to Penang la. Come and see for yourself what we have done. And I think that we have actually implemented policies that united the people of Penang. Whether Malays, Chinese or Indians, 
Bear in mind that in the last general elections, we obtained the highest mandate in Phoenix history. We got 68% of the popular vote. And we cannot get 68% unless there is support from Malay community as well. If you don't believe, ask, go to Penang and ask the people whether Malay, Chinese or Indian. But don't go and ask the Amno fella. <laughs> don't go and ask the fella who get 50 ringgit for Amno just to go and demonstrate, demonstrate. You know, when I was here, they demonstrated in my office. <laughs> How many people demonstrated? Organized by Amo Pinang. How many people demonstrated? 50. Amo do demonstration. Only 50 turn up. Just like DAP demonstration when you are in opposition like that. Now, that is the support that Amo has nowadays. And why? Because I believe at the end of the day, the people will support any government that deliver. It is not a question of race. It is always a question of performance. The Rakyat wants to live a better life. They want their children to live better than they. They want their children to have a better future. Just as you want a better future. And that's why we are here. Now we want to fight for a better future. So that we hope that you can one day come back home. Or even if you don't, you can be proud that you have contributed towards a better future, both for Penang as well as for Malaysia. Can y'all do that? Yes. Can y'all do that? Not? Yes. yes. How you do it? <laughs> some say, some say you do it by vote lah. One thing yes lah. <laughs> give money, give donations also okay. But I think more important than voting and giving financial contributions, we want you to participate. We want you to be our warriors for democracy and integrity. Pass the message around. Say there's still hope for Malaysia because Penang has shown the way. Can we do that? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs>